Hey everyone, welcome to JD Careers Out There, where we get you career advice from fellow lawyers and non-practicing lawyers to help you achieve success and happiness in your career. In law school, you learn how to think, read, and write like a lawyer, but we're here to help you enjoy your career. And a big part of that is finding a path that excites you. And today we're gonna look at one of those paths where you don't actually practice law. I'm Mark Luber, and today we're exploring careers in the nonprofit space. So whether you're a do-gooder or a sports fan, you're really gonna enjoy this video, because today we're talking to Greg McLaughlin, and he's the president and CEO of the Tiger Woods Foundation, which helps disadvantaged kids go to college. I'm wearing a PGA golf tour shirt in honor of today's video, and uh, I asked Greg to tell us about the mission of his organization and how he goes about achieving that as president and CEO. And he gives a really great explanation of the two sides of things that he works on, both the exciting events and then helping society by helping children get educated. Take a look. The mission of our organization is really focused around uh, college access. So we try and provide opportunities really for disadvantaged kids to give them an opportunity uh, to, to go to college. We have two main programs, uh, Tiger Woods Learning Centers, which we have based in Orange County, Washington, D.C., uh, Stewart, Florida, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and they provide career exploration for youth give them an opportunity really to find out uh, what it's like to, to be an engineer, doctor, lawyer. Uh, main focus is really around science, technology, engineering, math, but we, we veer a little bit outside of just the STEM-based. And then the second program we do is really all around uh, college scholarships. So we provide resources, including actual scholarships, mentoring, internships, but we also provide everything from SAT prep to um, how to get Pell Grants and, and, in essence, Princeton Review for a variety of different um, added enrichment programs for the kids. So for us, again, it's all about college access. That's fantastic. And how many people are employed by the organization? Uh, approximately 60 full-time employees here, and then we've got an office actually in Washington, D.C. also. Excellent. And so how does the organization go about achieving its mission, and how do you specifically as president and CEO go about achieving that mission? Well, uh, our staff basically is almost split in half uh, program related. Um, very uh, many of them are, are accredited educators uh, that really focus on on just the two programs, the learning centers uh, as well as our, our scholarship program. And the other half really are, are supporting uh, the overall programs through fundraising uh, we do about five uh, large um, national events, which about 85% of our income comes uh, through these events, as well as just straight philanthropy. So I've got a, a fairly robust uh, event staff, uh, communications, as well as kind of the finance and, and back of house, really, that, uh, that help the organization uh, function. So we mainly raise money to try and pro and to fund our programs. That's where we spend most of our time. And what are these events? The five events uh, mainly are uh, three PGA Tour golf tournaments, including the AT&T National in Washington, D.C., the Deutsche Bank Championship outside of Boston, uh, and the World Challenge, which is uh, held in, uh, in Thousand Oaks, California, about an hour north of here. And then we also do a, a benefit concert in Las Vegas, uh, which is called Tiger Jam, which is in its 15th year. And we do a, a private event up at Pebble Beach called the Tiger Woods Invitational. So those five events, we do some smaller ones also, but uh, those are all with Tiger, where he has a fairly large presence with our donors, uh, and we spend a, a great deal of time uh, on those. And again, about 85% of the money comes in through those fundraising events, and the balance really just through straight philanthropy and, and individual corporate donations. Excellent. I love it. Sounds like fun. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching right now who are in law firms wishing they could be doing what you're doing. So I want to get to how you're how your law degree fits into all of this, but first I want to talk about... Greg's got a cool job, right? He's proof that there are really great things you could do with your JD. And in the full interview, he's going to tell us a lot more about what it takes to run a nonprofit organization. And he also talks about how having a JD 
actually helps on a daily basis. He tells us a lot about how to evaluate whether the nonprofit world is for you and shares solid tips on breaking into that path as well as when you should do it. Uh, you can find that full interview at jdcareersoutthere.com or for a shortcut you could go to jdcot.com and if you're already there you could just scroll down to the full video. Make sure you become a member so you get access to the full interview and of course access to lots more of exclusive content that's filled with great advice. Thanks again for watching everybody. I'm Mark Luber. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.